and welcome back. This is Jackie from White Raven Creatives. I did say that I would um, do a another part to the tutorial to show how I finished making the um, envelope flip. So um, and some of the details on some of the pages. So let's um, get to that and uh, get this done so that um, everybody can complete it and post it and tag me and let me know how it went all right so here we go so this was the stacked envelopes um it's about mm, yum, 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 10 10 by 10 and it is stacked envelopes um so the first page is just a cd envelope um that i have covered and put the picture in inside as well as a little frame on the back of that is just a a little um, tuck spot here with these little hearts that I put on and some trim and a little applique piece. On this win uh, envelope um, pocket, there is a cutout here and um, a couple of tags inside. And on the flip side of that is just a um, a picture applied on this envelope we have a piece of um, digital I believe that is dreams etc as well um these are all pretty much dreams etc digitals uh, called tea time beautiful beautiful stuff um, I love her work so um, there's a little pocket there and I put a little uh, painted uh, red rose, a white rose painted red, a little trim and a little safety pin, old antique. And a little applique there of a, a rose with a um, crown and painted red. There's another pocket there and inside there's an envelope. On here there's a little tab. Um, tab. Um not called a tab um yeah mm, brain fog anyway it's a little attached um tag and another little envelope attached to the papers and um a little heart i mean attached and there's a little one and i thought this was cute because it's a it's a little girl and this is about the queen of hearts and um I thought, well, that's kind of cool to remember she was a little girl once. Um, so on this page here, on this envelope flip, I have another little heart. I've got a little banner there um, and another little note banner up the top. There's a little card that I made um, with the uh, Mad Hatter cat, Cheshire cat. And I just backed that with the... Um, same papers that I'm using throughout and what I do also to bring a consistency through the book is I be sure to add similar graphics to my pages to bring them all cohesive throughout the entire book so you'll see there's the black hearts there's the red hearts red hearts I added these to the digitals <clears throat> excuse me so that's a little pocket there. And back here, there's another little hearts were all added to the original digitals. And there's some of that ribbon and some buttons and a little tuck spot here. And on this side, I did a little applique on here. Um, in this envelope, a longer, taller. Another envelope with another um, antique. Um, card inside so when I do the um, the card the envelopes I try to make sure that what you're going to see inside is also covered so you need, would need to add a little piece to those um, this piece has some of the embroidery lace and then the uh, polka dotted ribbon that we used for closure and over here I created a little pocket um, and with a flip down and again the little same little hearts that are um, consistent um, through the pages and that's just a little envelope there 
and um, that flips open. Another little heart embellishment added on to act as a little pocket for these little cards. Some of those little antique um, Valentine cards are so pretty. So um, I also used some washi tape, which I used throughout to bind the pages just to keep them where they're flipping and flapping to be a little more secure. So on this page, again, one of the digitals, I added some Battenberg lace, which is the same as what I've used um, on the back and the middle um, to cover the pages. So this is a little bit left. Another little tuck spot under here. And another little envelope pocket here with some cards in it and another envelope with some paper. And again, I added that little trim inside so when you're opening the envelope you um, see how that's been decorated over here is another little pocket and I added some buttons and uh, there's the little black hearts the same as these so a little card goes in there this is attached with a little tiny clip I think they're called mini clips Tim Holtz they're very very tiny and on this page um, I, uh, it's a big, em a very large envelope, and it's about five by five, I think. And there's an envelope inside there with some paper. And then there's a, um, a, a little clip, paper clip that I made, and it has some uh, embroidery lace, same as that I've used here, and uh, a little button and a little heart on some music paper. And that just goes on to there. And holds that. This is the back of um, that page and on that page I created this little um, fold down note. Um, isn't that cool? I thought I, I remember where I seen it but I thought I better make one while I <laughs> while I could because um, I thought it was kind of cool. So that uh, is just a little place for a little note and I just attached that to the back of this little card and put that onto that page. And then over here, here's our center page. Um, I just added some uh, bling little hearts that are bumpy. I embossed this little tiny heart and cracked it so that... Uh, I don't know. She's the Queen of Hearts. So, um, I guess she's trying, but <laughs> a little bit of a confused girl, I think. So, I Im I decoupage, sorry, um, this heart. Oh, my goodness. This um, rose onto this page. I had the backing on first with the big clock that spirals down. I put the Queen of Hearts on here. Put a little decoration on the bottom and uh, outlined her with white. So that is that and that all folds back like this. And um, this has been shown on, there's been a flip, um, quick flip on YouTube to show this um, as well. Um, so anyway, that uh, ribbon goes around and that ribbon is attached between the pages here and there's a button that's been sewn on so that that can tie around and keep the whole booklet closed but I want to quickly show you um, how I did the um, center page because we pretty much did all of this in part uh, one um, or the previous uh, tutorial so in the center here, I ha found a piece of this Battenberg lace um, that I had um, that fit perfectly from the back um, across this uh, part of the file folder and over onto this side. So as you may remember, this is all created on a file folder, which has a big pocket and a space in here for a little booklet. So we'll get to that in a second. I'll just tell you quickly how I did this. So I took the, the Battenberg lace. It was a little big 
um, it, depth wise so I had to cut it so that the trim would just fit nicely so I did cut it and then of course I had a raggedy old seam here that I wanted to cover so I covered it again with the um, same ribbon that we're using to tie and I just glued that down and put a little um, a decoupage to red rose onto this side I think it turned out really nice and then this piece I left a little bit loose so that I could put an envelope into here. And so that my envelope wouldn't fall out, I created this little tag. And um, it has the um, White Raven logo um, on there. And then I created an envelope by just covering it with the black hearts. And then create, poked a few little things inside um that were um more of um more cards that were just blank on the back that could be used for um for notes and those little hearts are or hearts i keep calling them hearts the roses were what were um used as the decoupages uh, same prints so i just added that and then on the back of that it is uh, painting the roses red because that's basically um the theme for the Queen of Hearts here is uh, the Queen and the Red Roses uh, for Valentine. So that's basically like that. And that tucks into there. And then this flips over. And that is the back. Put a little lace on there because um, it was a little bit ragged. And so I put this on here. Glued that down. And in this space here I added um, this little bit of a digital um, I guess I liked it and it sort of just kept the ribbon down and then here was the little booklet that I made um, just to poke inside of this big envelope there's that space in the back of your between your file folders like this is the the whole file folder opened and there if you had it and this is a legal size file folder so it's fair size and your little booklet just slips into there so that uh, closes on to there like that. And uh, the little booklet is made um, just with some of the leftover digitals that I had. And I tried to um, just go through and add again some of the decoupage uh, red roses and use some of the digitals that I had left over and create some layers. Um, this is another digital from dreams etc oh, I can't remember which one it was though oh uh, wing wings uh, something wings and then uh, again so many layers created the, the layers when I made the book and um, decoupaged and left some space for writing and um, there it is. There's the flip through. And then basically, I mean, it's just a little booklet. I added some tuck spots and um, left some room for, for journaling. Um, I edged um, some of the pages with the um, Distress ink. Um, probably in Walnut or Photo. I'm not sure. But a dark. But I didn't do all of the pages. Um, I didn't want to make it too grungy. But, um, so I just, again, brought through uh, into the booklet some of the pages and patterns that were repeated um, from the original um, design work of the layered or stacked envelopes. So there it is. Um, I hope uh, those of you that are following me and um, little pets. Those of you that are following me um, find the tutorials uh, clear enough to uh, to follow and create something wonderful yourself, and I would love to see what you do, what you all make. So um, I don't know if you can tag in Facebook or not. Um, I'm pretty new at all of this tech business, but um, um, if you can tag me, tag me, or just post it, and um, probably to the junk groups uh, the junk journal groups and um, um we can all see it all right so uh 
thanks again to everyone who's uh, joined and um, all of you that are creating. Um, it's wonderful. Uh, it's a wonderful pastime, and uh, uh, I appreciate all of you being here. So thanks very much, and um, we'll talk to you later. Bye now.